Hello YouTubers, my name is NixV and you are on the channel for those who love online skating and wants to progress in it. And guess what is the day today? Come on, that's simple. Today is Reviews Day, a special day for inline skating review. And today I got this. This set of protection gear has been sent to me by a company named, uh, wait, I have to read it, S-P-F-A-S-Z-E-I-V. I don't know how to say it, but that doesn't matter, because all that you have to do is to put that sequence of letters into your browser and get to their website. It's over here. And find this set of protection gear, this and all the others. Of course, if my review will convince you that this is a really decent protection gear set. This is not a paid promotion, so I will be absolutely sincere with you, as always. So thanks to that company, and we are starting. By the way, it's written TXJ Sports here, and it is much easier for me to spell, so we will be calling it like this. So what we've got here, we've got two elbow pads, two wrist guards, and two knee pads, a standard human protection gear pad. Luckily, I also have two hands and two legs, and that will be absolutely okay for me. I must say that this set looks more suitable for skate parks. It has a very thick and soft padding, a big area of some thick plastic, uh, the wrist guards, the wrist guards here have such a thing, a plastic thing, rather thin material that protects you from breaking your wrist or straining it by putting it in some unnatural position like that's too much, that or maybe that. It limits you from some unnatural moves, but it doesn't limit you too much. Although, I think I won't be able to make my hand stand on it. I can, in fact. This thing here is rather small, and it is suitable for skate parks, but probably it's not very good for some asphalt skating and city skating. I will tell you why a little bit later. I like the design with these glossy eyelets. Very stylish. It reminds me of some Ninja Turtle shell or something like that. The pads could be put on like the sleeves, like that. There are also some additional belt cross to fix them. You can, of course, put it only on belt cross also, but I don't recommend you to do that because it could easily slip off and you will harm yourself. We don't want it, darling. There is also a special beige with the letter L here, and that means that this is the left pad. And it would be a great thing, but on the second pad we also have that beige with the letter L on it. So it means that we have two left pads, although I can see that they are different. So, no, of them is right. It's not a problem for knee pads and elbow pads, because you can put them either way. But for the wrist guards, it's really a problem, because if you are a newbie, there could be a great problem to figure out how to put that thing on. Because if you put it like that, and there are a lot of skater newbies who put it like that first time. This is not the right thing to put it. But maybe that tell doesn't mean anything about the left hand or right hand. Maybe it means something else, like it was produced by Lucifer or something <laughs> like that. I have to think about it. Well, I talked with the person from TXG Sports and he explained to me that this L actually means large, not left. So I wasn't right, and the pads 
actually were. Looks, looks rather good. And probably that's all that I can tell from the part of visual control. Now it's time to test them. protection gear. I'm pretty happy with knee pads and elbow pads. I feel myself comfortable, protected. They don't limit my moves. And in jumps, crossovers, backward skating, everything is fine. They don't slip from their places. The velcros do not open by themselves. Of course, they make it a little bit warmer. And when I'm wearing them on my pants, there will be some sweat spots after I will take them off. Maybe I won't be allowed to the audience with the pop in such a pants, but I wasn't going to go there anyway. The pads protect me from scratches, and that is more important, they protect my pants and my jeans from being torn. The wrist guard has disappointed me a little bit. This leather surface got torn after a few falls on the bad asphalt, so I would probably prefer to such a model another model with a full plastic covering like, like that one. You can see it. This is the Rochester Tourist Pads, but TXG Sports has such a model on their website, so you can check it. And that's all I think. I hope it was useful. Hope you liked it. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe button if you are not yet subscribed. I'll be back with new reviews, new vlogs and new tutorials. Finally, the weather is getting better and better, and there will be some new tutorials very soon. See you in the next video. Bye.